exclusive signed autographed Lonzo Ball shoes. $995. In a way, you could say that these are Skechers. You ready for this? No. Welcome back to What's Inside. This is a big one. Today, a big, big we feel ball. like big ballas. Big. Like really big ballas. Ballas? No R? You're such a big baller that there's no R in Big Bala? Yes, this is the Big Baller brand. Big Baller brand. BBB. Big Baller. If you don't know what Big Baller brand is or the ball family in general, then uh, you don't watch much sports. One of their sons going to UCLA, got um, caught shoplifting in China. Donald Trump had to get him out of prison. And how did they repay him? They talked smack about him on social media. He was possibly facing 11 years in prison in a Chinese prison. No, nobody won't go to jail. A Chinese prison. I would say thank you if he would have put him on his plane and took him home. It's like one of the craziest circus shows I've ever seen. The dad, LeVar Ball, said that if you can't afford a shoe that costs $495, then apparently you are not a big baller on the court because you're not willing to put in the price for the shoe. I still am a big baller. Stay in your lane. This shoe took us a very long time to get. I ordered this in May. 2017. And then finally in December, just before Christmas, they came out with the shoes. These are the signed pair, $995. Okay. You ready for this? Yes. You're gonna unbox them for us so I can hold the camera. Did you just rip the box? I just threw it backwards. <laughs> I just opened like, it. Like any box I would do. Well, the box was not $995, that's for sure. So it comes in a fancy bag right here. That has the logo on it. It's very and soft. I am a BB now. Ooh, look at that. Certificate of authenticity. Here we go. This is Lincoln's first time seeing these shoes. Hmm. The sole of the shoes right here, that looks cool like the design. The bottom, I don't know. It doesn't, it's not grippy like, like KD's or LeBron's. Santa. Why does it say Santa? Now they said when I ordered them originally it was gonna come in a glass box, the autographed version was. Apparently they changed their mind and decided to go with this one with the velvet in the cardboard box. Now the inside of this box is velvety, it's nice. Oh. Hmm. Okay, all right, what's inside the box? We've got uh, cannons. You can actually get a shoe that's just like this that is not the Big Baller brand because they use the same shoe mold for it. That I'm guessing is not $495. At this point, they've only sold a few hundred from what the numbers are showing from the API from their website showing around 350. Four, 500 pair. I will say like, I really wanted to um, not like Lonzo Ball watching him play for the Lakers just because of um, his dad and how obnoxious he was in the media and how loud he was and like the claims that he says that his son's gonna be better than Steph Curry and that all three of his sons are gonna be in the NBA. But watching him, he's actually a pretty good ball player. He's definitely not at the level of like an all-star level and he's quiet. He seems like he's not like super loud and obnoxious like his dad. First impressions, it is really, really light. That's good. This sole feels, I don't wanna say cheap because I'm just feeling it but it does feel like some styrofoam, it does. Okay, this does not feel like a basketball shoe. Like basketball shoes are like sticky usually and they're really good at sticking to the floor. That's but true. this is like. Doesn't feel very sticky right out of the box. No. And then the back, nice touch, a little carbon fiber right there on the back. Fancy. It looks like real carbon fiber. The bottom of it seems extremely flat for a basketball shoe. Yeah. Gosh, I don't want to sound like I'm negative about it, but it looks more like like a grandpa's shoes that he wears around the house because it's so flat. Yeah. Like loafers. These are Lincoln shoes that he designed with Nike. They're cool. But look at the bottom of the soles of these. The bottom of the sole is quite boring. This is the Kevin Durant KD10s. These are the shoes that he actually wore when we did a video with him and Lincoln scored on him. You can feel the grooves, like it sticks out more over here and right there, but in the middle, it kind of indents a little bit. So it's almost like when your foot steps down, it's like a spring, it's like a protection. This is super flat. We got shoes for days. These are the Steph Curry, I don't even know what edition. They're kind of cool, they say can do all things. It has like a scripture on the side of it, on the thing. These are the Under Armour shoes that he wears. If you look at the sole on this one, this is so incredibly flat. Feel that, feel it, feel a difference? And it's so sticky. You can even see right there. Yeah. 
Katie Tens, $150. Steph Curry shoes are $120, and Lonzo Balls are $495. That's a big difference. Just on price alone, this isn't even in the ballpark. So now what we need to do is we need to cut this thing in half. Does it have the tinsel fibers that the KD 10s have? Does it have an air pocket like the Nike Airs? There was a good article in GQ talking about how what saved Big Baller brand shoe was a Skechers funded company. So in a way you could say that these are Skechers. I would think that he's the only NBA player that uses Skechers. Stay in your lane. We've got the Big Baller brand shoes in our neighbor's workshop because he has the perfect saw for it. This is the same one that we did, Yeezys. Nike Air Max. Yeah, 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 Nike Air Max. Yeezys we used on a saw that I bought and it broke and I threw it away after that and it decided I'm gonna ask my neighbor for help every time because yep. this one's pretty solid. Oh, you look great. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna take out the insides of this thing. Oh, and the shoelace. We don't wanna do it with a shoelace on. We have learned our lesson before. All right, so it doesn't like the shoelaces. The insert on this is so solid. Should I put it on? No. Glasses on. Exclusive, signed, autographed Lonzo Ball shoes. cutting shoes. Okay, I'm really interested to see what is inside of this thing, but I'm not gonna do it yet. I wanna go sit back down at our desk and compare it to some of the other shoes. Let's go! We're back. Here we, we go. It. We need to look what's inside. We haven't looked yet. Here you go, buddy. It does look really plain. Looks like the sole just has one continuous piece of, I don't even know, urethane, rubber. It's not as soft as maybe like the Easy Boost. Um, there's no air pockets like the Nike Air. And, oh, and then did you feel this one in between? It's like this soft little mesh. Right it feels it. like styrofoam. Big baller brand. It says, this is next generational foam. The newest generation of foam on the market. Our revolutionary foam has 40% EVA, allowing for ZO2 to sit 25% lower to the ground, increasing ground feel and stability while still providing better cushioning than industry standard EVA. I do find it really, really interesting. There's no tinsel fibers like on the KD10s and there's no air pockets inside of it. There's barely anything other than the air pocket and the tinsel fibers, where this is what the entire shoe is made out of, that foam right there. These are some Katie's, some old ones. I wanna say Katie sevens seven. or fours? Sevens. Sevens. You can see these little pockets with the tinsel fibers in it, the, with an air pocket plus that, and it even has something around the toe of the shoe. <laughs> hmm. Whoa! What do you guys think about this? What is do you it think too about? Is it expensive? Like, is it worth the money? That's the biggest question, probably. Well, the biggest question too is, what do you think? Is Lonzo Ball and his two younger brothers are they all going to be in the NBA? Are they going to be good? I don't know if you guys saw this in the news, but I think with the things that have leaked out about LeBron James, it sounds like his deal is around a billion dollars. It's like a lifetime deal. Lonzo and his dad Lavar tried to negotiate a deal with Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour. They asked for three billion dollars. Three billion dollars for a deal. Maybe he's gonna be good. Maybe like 10 years from now we're gonna watch this and we'll be like, wow, he's really, really good. Steph Curry with Under Armour, he has a pretty good deal too, but he also has ownership in Under Armour, which is a really good deal for him, so that could be worth a lot of money. Yeah. But he also waited until he was like four or five years into the league until he got that type of really good deal. Are we gonna be looking back at this saying, man, that was so worth it. Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, they should have paid that $3 billion. Like, what are your thoughts on this? We're gonna be going through the comments, reading them. We got some good shoes going on there. Oh yeah. Okay, bye everybody. Let's go. <laughs>
Get out of here. Go. Get out of here, kid. All right.